hi good to see that you're back here or maybe you're here for the first time but anyways it's still a good feeling <laughs> so as you can see we see the sun the setting sun and therefore uh, we are traveling in a particular direction what could that be <laughs> so we are traveling west from Delhi and we are taking this road uh, taking this route uh, that in fact many kings and many princes in the past have also taken so this road that I am driving on and that you're driving on actually connects two cities which have been connected uh, with each other uh, for centuries now for uh, I think at least the past 300 years but these two regions have been connected like that uh, for much longer than that for like 500 years of course if uh, you've not already guessed I'll tell you that the city that we are traveling to and driving to is Jaipur which is the capital city of Rajasthan it's a city that was built around 300 years ago actually a little less than that uh, but as I mentioned that region and that city have been uh, connected to Delhi very very closely for the past hundreds of years and as you can already see this walk with me video is a little different <laughs> this is more like a drive with me video uh, but I hope to give you and give myself the same satisfaction that uh, I got from the other videos so let's see how that goes <laughs> I've taken a break for some caffeine. Do you want coffee or tea? <laughs> so anyways, this place is in Haryana, which is a state bordering Delhi. And in order to get to Jaipur, we must cross Haryana and then we'll get to Jaipur that's the the route that the National Highway 8 follows and that's the National Highway that uh, we've been driving along till now and now we are just taking a break watching the sunset and now you see it's even clearer the setting Sun and we need to drive into the sun essentially and when I say drive into the sun of course <laughs> I mean drive west from New Delhi so we'll be driving into the setting sun which sets in the west <laughs> I know you you know all of that so I'm probably just babbling right now as we walk around we do a little bit of walk with me <laughs> as I mentioned there'll be less of walk with me and more of drive with me probably but we'll see and I use that word babbling not loosely <laughs> earlier in this sentence because there you go the name of the place is jungle babbler as well <laughs> so this is something which uh, I've got to know the Haryana government does a lot of its lodges and restaurants and rest houses Wow they're they're named after birds so yeah jungle babbler is a bird as well and yeah just just enjoy that setting sun and I'm sure we'll get to see a lot more of the setting sun as we continue continue to drive west <laughs> all right so here we are trying to move again 
after our very peaceful pit stop here in Haryana. The place was called Jungle Babla. And yeah, I am super sure that we'll be seeing better views of the setting sun as we continue this drive on the National Highway 8. And I've actually gotten to know that this National Highway is renamed now and it's National Highway 48, I believe. And it's one of the busiest highways of India. Uh, which connects Delhi all the way to Mumbai but this evening uh, we'll only cover around 300 kilometers so as you can see the sunset colors are really brightening up the sky to the west and the 300 kilometers distance is the distance from Delhi to Jaipur So usually if uh, there's not much traffic, I think that distance can be covered in like six hours, less than six hours. Uh, that's going to be my target as well. And I think just before dark or maybe just when it gets dark, we should be in Jaipur. But we'll, we'll see if I make that happen or not <laughs> but in any case as you can see uh, we've got these wonderful sunset skies in front of us as we drive from Delhi to Jaipur and as I mentioned the reason why Delhi to Jaipur is a very historical connection is because uh, the Rajputs of Rajasthan uh, were always very closely connected to the Mughals who were ruling from Delhi uh, in fact that was one of the ways how the Rajputs in Rajasthan and in Jaipur were able to uh, become very rich and successful and they were able to protect their lands because they had this very close association with the Mughals starting as early as I think the 1400s or something like that. Alright, so you can see the constant of these beautiful sunset skies to the west of Delhi uh, will remain as we do this drive from Delhi to Jaipur and there are a couple of things that I should clarify so uh, I think I mentioned 1400s but the timeline is actually 1500s when the association between the Rajputs of Rajasthan and uh, the Mughals who were ruling a large part of northern India including technically uh, the area which is Rajasthan now so 1500s was when the association started and while I can say that a lot of the riches and successes of the Rajputs during that period that is after 1500s till let's say uh, 1800s were uh, partly because of their close association uh, with the Mughals who were like the bigger rulers of the entire country uh, the Rajputs have uh, definitely uh, existed and they've been in power uh, for many years before that as well so the association with the Mughals only started in around 1500s with Humayu with whom I think one of the Rajput rulers first associated himself uh, and then there was association with Akbar and Jahangir and Aurangzeb as well over the years uh, which really built this relationship between Delhi and Rajasthan or Delhi and Jaipur. So I guess whatever I may say I can absolutely not match the beauty of this view of the setting sun and I think these are the kind of views that are rare we don't really get to notice them often uh, because not a lot of people time their journeys uh, according to the sunset or according to the sunrise 
Uh, so yeah, I, I consider myself super fortunate to be getting this beautiful view and I hope you guys are enjoying this as well. Alright, so let's keep talking about our Jaipur and Delhi story, uh, which at least the story that I will tell goes back uh, till the 1500s and it's more like a Rajasthan and Delhi story. So according to the story, and it's not story, this is like history, uh, in the 1500s when Akbar was ruling from Delhi and was ruling almost the entire of North India, uh, one of the Rajput rulers who was called Raja Bihar Mal, he actually uh, married his daughter to Akbar in order to get more connections in the Mughal court and that's how the association started. So I must clarify uh, the marriage between Akbar and Raja Biharmal's daughter was not when the association started but I should say that's when the association turned into more of a family thing because uh, then uh, this daughter, the Rajput's daughter became a very influential in the Mughal court as well. Uh, Akbar as was common at that time actually had many wives but this Rajput uh, lady became very very influential and of course she was Hindu whereas Akbar was a Muslim so uh, this lady who's also commonly or loosely referred to as Jodha Bai uh, she's attributed as uh, the lady who actually uh, influenced Akbar so much that he ended up becoming more tolerant towards other religions as well uh, and that trait of Akbar is something which became very significant especially after his marriage uh, but on the other side which is the Rajput side uh, the association became more formal and familial after this marriage and then it just continued to grow over the next few generations as well uh, where more marriages happened between the Rajputs and the Mughals and uh, the Mughals also uh, uh, sort of took help or I should say incorporated many of the Rajput kings within their army uh, to fight for them uh, during different battles that happened. Anyways, so wow, as you can see, we see the orange, red, blue and black of the setting sun and it's it's beautiful that orange glow right by the horizon and while we've been talking a lot I think uh, we've not been making a lot of progress because about 10 kilometers ago uh, there was a board uh, that said Jaipur is around 180 kilometers away still <laughs> so I better focus on driving faster uh, of course within the limits <laughs> so it's clearly getting a little too dark now I can barely see that orange though it's still beautiful especially those shades of orange and grey and blue and black uh, but yeah I think I'll focus a little bit more on reaching Jaipur <laughs> and also talking about Jaipur So, <laughs> as you can see, driving in this kind of an atmosphere <laughs> will not be very easy. So, I'll focus on the road more and speak less, but I will speak. And Jaipur, as a big city of Rajasthan, was actually built in the 1700s and it was built by Raja Jai Singh the second who once again was very closely associated with the Mughals and he was uh, one of the commanders uh, who was leading a strong army to fight for the Mughals and he chose to build uh, this city with all the riches that he'd accumulated. So 
that's of course one more pit stop for me and for you <laughs> because I had driven quite a bit and I had spoken a lot as well so had to take a break uh, but from here I think I'll directly see you in Jaipur very very quickly <laughs> So as I promised you, I focused on the road, focused on driving fast and driving safely and finally uh, we've reached Jaipur. It's quite dark uh, and I think later than I had planned, darker than I had planned as well. But yeah, we are here and I see the streets are all well lit. The city looks nice at this time as well. But of course tomorrow we'll get to explore so much more and the area that we are driving in right now is not really the core of the city or the old city of Jaipur which is uh, more historical and nicer. This is more of the modern part of Jaipur which was built more recently like within the last I would imagine 100 years. So we've now even reached our destination within Jaipur. This is the guest house slash hotel where we'll be staying. I'll relax here and then we'll go around exploring some more of Jaipur tomorrow. And yeah, I'll, I'll see you again soon exploring this wonderful 300 year old city of Jaipur. <laughs>